How's it going everyone? Chad from Wonderspark Puppets and today we're going to talk about neutral state. Now, what is neutral state? It's what your body is doing, what, what your puppet's body is doing when they're not doing anything. All right, so let me explain. Uh, we talked about how with the non-moving mouth hand puppets, uh, whoever is talking is going to be moving, right? Like if we're talking or dancing, the audience is looking right here. If we have two puppets up at the same time, one puppet has to stay frozen while the other one moves and talks. And then when they're done talking, when it's time to pass it over here for this puppet to start talking, for the audience to look over here, <laughs> this puppet has to freeze. And they're, going to, they're not only going to look at this puppet over here, right, while they start talking, right, because we want the audience to look over here too, they also need to figure out what to do with their arms, right? If you're a regular actor on stage and you end a monologue and then you look over at the next actor who's going to be talking, you don't want your arms to be doing this. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. So you don't want your puppet to do that either. So get your puppets up, please. Uh, here's your exercise for today. Neutral state is because I can't uh, I can't have this puppet's arms go by their sides, which is what you would do as like a regular human neutral state. Uh, so instead, I'm going to cross their arms in front of their chest like that. Okay, it shouldn't be it, it shouldn't take a lot of energy. It shouldn't be crunching those muscles. It should feel completely natural for you, the puppeteer. Cross those arms just like that, and this is neutral state okay they're not a, they're not putting their arms out like joy or looking down or anything they're looking straight out or straight at another character their arms crossed over their chest and every time that you if you have two characters up at once every time that you throw it over to another character so you end whatever you're doing and then look at the next character who's going to be talking don't just have your arms <laughs> floating in space okay you have to End your monologue and cross your arms into neutral state as you look over at the other puppet. Does that make sense? So let me give you a brief demonstration. If we have two puppets up at the same time, right? Both in neutral state, which means arms crossed over just like this. And they're going to stay that way until one of them moves. So we're going to have one puppet count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And when you hit five, not only are you going to look over at this puppet here, you're going to make sure that their arms cross. They go into neutral state. And then one, two, three, four, five, right? See how I cross the arms right there? And then so on. Okay, this is my neutral state. Now, can you do other things besides just crossing your arms? Absolutely. As long as it doesn't look weird, choose any kind of neutral position that you like. Okay, like perhaps in, perhaps there's something down here. We're looking at this. We're like, oh. So I'm done talking and I'm going to look at this pointing or maybe a subtle movement is okay. Okay. Or slowly go back up as long as if you have two puppets up at once, as long as this character is talking and this one can move slowly, right? Maybe reacting to things. It looks pretty good. Slow movements are always better in puppetry, right? As long as you don't, if you're not competing for the audience's focus, you'll be fine. So neutral state. Yeah, know where your arms are at all times. Thank you once again. My name is Chad from Wonderspark Puppets. Uh, good luck, and we'll see you next time. Bye.